today's headlines. Kabayan Weekly Journalism Workshop 2019. Febs Al Shaba participates at the Conscience Cup. 2019 Special Olympics World Summer Games. Pleasant morning to everyone. My name is Trisha Ramos from FEPS News, reporting to you live from Grand Excelsior Hotel Dera. Ongoing behind me is the Kabayan Weekly Journalism Workshop 2019 with the theme of Campus Journalists, a dynamic force and catalyst in championing the year of tolerance. Reporting next is my partner, Nina Quintos. Nina, take it away. Reporting to you is Nina Quintos from FEPS News. Beside me is a competitor from FEPS Al Shaba. May you introduce yourself, please? Um, my name is Arnulfo Rigores Meio, and I am representing Pricer Private School Al Shaba in the feature writing. How do you plan on highlighting this event for your future? In a sense, I would highlight this event as a way that can promote tolerance within competing schools and also as their way of promoting tolerance in the Filipino community and the communities in the UAE. Thank you for that answer. Back to you. Reporting to you live is Peter Lamas from FEPS News. Beside me is Dr. Atala Habib, the owner of Kabayan Weekly. Now sir, may I just ask you what inspired you to host a certain event like this? Um, seven years ago or eight years ago when we started Kabayan Weekly, the first thing came to my mind when I learned there is a school like this. I said maybe we can have some journalists in the future join Kabayan Weekly. So why don't we do um, a competition among the schools and uh, first it will be very educational, informative, fun, challenging and then make Kabayan Weekly also part of them. So that exactly what we uh, we had in the past and we continue with this is our seventh annual uh, journalism workshop that's one the second is that we always have a message for the kids and there's no better way than give them the theme to work on this uh, the message that we want to instill in their mind and their hearts thank you awesome. thank you very much thank you so much for your time sir once again i'm trisha damas from FEPS. last february pope francis visited the uae he visited Abu Dhabi and met His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. FEPS, both Al Shaba and the Al Azhar branch are joining in the Conscience Cup Games. They will be competing with other Filipino schools. Who will win? We also have the 2019 Special Olympics World Summer Games. This year will be hosted by the UAE. But next year, who will be the next host? Find out more when we come back at FEPS News. Sir, so how did you train your athletes for the Conscience Cup? Uh... This is the first time we're going to join the Conscient Cup and I'm more pressured, you know why, because it's only a two-week preparation for us. So how was this different from FISA in the past years? In FISA, we trained for two months, but here we trained for two weeks. The difference between training for two months is relatively different from two weeks span. You need to select the best possible skills that they can have, the best possible options, or the best possible students. Nothing more than that. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Okay, Reporting to you is Nina Quintos from FAPS News. Beside me is a basketball varsity player from the FAPS Al Shaba. May you introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Marinito Tisereno Jr., uh, number 8 from Paris Stern Private School. How does it feel winning? Well, it feels great winning for the 
I mean, it's, everything is uh, all about the team. Um, what What is the most valuable lesson that you've learned in the game today? That you can do anything is possible when pag nasa puso mo si Lord. That's all for today. Thank you and see you next time. Reporting to you is Dina Quintos from Taps News. Beside me is a team player of the varsity team. How did you prepare for this competition? Well, continuous training lang the whole week. Uh, more than a week, pero naging limited lang yung preparations namin. Pero kinaya naman with ano, continuous training talaga. How confident are you that you will win this competition? Well, di ko naman kasi alam kung paano maglaro yung ibang teams. Pero, yeah, confident pa rin naman. Ha? What do you think of the other competitors? Well, magaling sila. Ah! Lalo na yung mga Azra, magaling talaga sila, syempre. Pati yung iba, maganda rin maglaro. Pero, syempre, kami rin. Hindi <laughs> kami papatala dyan. Thank you for that inspiration and answer. Abu Dhabi hosted this year's Special Olympics World Games. This has been the most unified Special Olympics as the country celebrates its year of tolerance, grouping individuals according to ability and not disability. The Games give a chance for people with intellectual disabilities to reach their full potential, allowing this generation to have a more open mind. Team Philippines proudly brings home 9 gold medals, 10 silver and bronze medals with a grand total of 29 awards. Ivy Donka and Sheila Galvez for some of the Philippines' proud gold medalists. By the end of the sports tournament, the UAE handed over the Special Olympics flag to Sweden who will host the next games. That's it for today's Pepsi News. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great afternoon and God bless.